For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. On this vote, the yeas are 50, the nays are 50. Three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn not having voted in the affirmative, the motion is not agreed to. A debate on the bill called the For the People Act, tabled in the U.S. Senate on Tuesday, June 22nd, has been blocked by opposition Republican Party. The bill aims to combat voter suppression, reduce the role of money in politics, and limit gerrymandering by state governments. It needed 60 votes in the 100-member Senate to be tabled for debate. But since all 50 Republican senators voted against it, it was stalled. If passed, the For the People Act would have instituted standardized federal election rules and reformed the Federal Election Commission. It would have also limited states' ability to redistrict without federal approval, reformed campaign financing provisions, and set up new ethics rules for major federal posts. The For the People Act was tabled in the Senate after making significant changes to the original bill that was passed in the U.S. House of Representatives in March this year. The amendments were made in order to garner support from the supposedly moderate Republicans in the Senate. However, the bill failed to even secure full support from the Senate Democratic Party, with many senior senators like Joe Manchin expressing their reservations about the bill. Ever since the 2020 general elections, former President Donald Trump and the Republican Party have advocated for laws that civil rights activists state would significantly limit voting access. 389 such bills have been tabled in different state legislators since the elections concluded in November 2020. The Republicans have argued that these measures are necessary to prevent voter fraud and manipulation, based on unsubstantiated claims of such frauds happening in the 2020 elections. According to the Voting Rights Lab, a ballot access advocacy group, 18 states, led by the Republican Party, have enacted 30 of these laws, and more are expected to follow suit in the coming months. These laws together are estimated to affect 36 million voters, or nearly 15% of all eligible voters, the group added. These laws limit early voting and weekend voting period, as well as get rid of drop box ballots and additional verification process for postal ballots. They even criminalize offering water and refreshments to voters standing in line, and are aimed at limiting access to underprivileged and poorer communities. Bernie Sanders, a prominent advocate for the For the People Act, asserted in a tweet that democracy is not about a handful of billionaires using their wealth to buy our elections, or states suppressing the vote by denying poor people or people of color the right to vote. Progressive lawmakers and civil rights movements working to expand voter access have responded with outrage against the voting results. Some have even called the supermajority rule of the Senate as a major impediment to several necessary legislative interventions, like raising the minimum wage levels, workers' right to unionize, and now to protect ballot access of U.S. citizens. Meanwhile, the Black Voters Matter, an organization that aims to expand ballot access to Black communities and other disadvantaged groups in the Southern United States, is taking a cross-states rally called the Freedom Ride for Voting Rights to Washington, D.C. The ride, which began on June 18th, aims to prevent laws against ballot access from passing and will reach the national capital on June 26th, with stopovers in eight states along the way. They have vowed to continue their fight against voter suppression.